Welcome to Travel Hub Africa, where the only lines we cross are time zones. Now I know what you're thinking. Another top 10 list? Come on, Trevor, give us something original. And to that I say, hold your zebras, because today we're going on safari. A safari through the top 10 cities to visit in Kenya in 2024. That's right. We're not just talking about the Maasai Mara or the Giraffe Manor here. We're diving deep into the heart of Kenya's urban jungle, exploring the vibrant culture, delicious food, and stunning landscapes that make this country the gem of East Africa. So buckle up, grab your safari hats, figuratively of course, unless you're into that sort of thing, and get ready to have your wanderlust ignited. And hey, while you're at it, hit that subscribe button and join the Travel Hub family. We've got travel tips and tricks coming at you faster than a cheetah on a caffeine rush. First up, the capital city, Nairobi. Now I know what you're thinking. Nairobi? That's a concrete jungle, not a safari. But hold on, my friend, because Nairobi is full of surprises. It's a city where skyscrapers share the skyline with acacia trees and where a traffic jam might just be caused by a herd of zebras crossing the road. Don't miss the David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust, where you can get up close with orphaned elephants and head to the Giraffe Center to share a kiss with a Rothschild giraffe. Nairobi is a city that pulsates with energy, where tradition meets modernity head on. It's a city that will surprise you and ultimately steal your heart. Next up, we're heading to the coast, to the city of Mombasa, a place where the air is thick with the scent of spices and the sound of the Indian Ocean waves crashing against ancient coral reefs. Mombasa is a city steeped in history, a melting pot of cultures, and a paradise for beach bums and history buffs alike. Start your journey through time at Fort Jesus, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Wander through the narrow streets of Old Town where you'll be transported back to the days of spice traders and Swahili sultans. Visit Holler Park, a former limestone quarry transformed into a thriving ecosystem. And for all you foodies, indulge in some Swahili cuisine. From biryani to pilau, your taste buds will be thanking you. Mombasa invites you to slow down and embrace the laid-back coastal lifestyle. Soak up the vibrant Swahili culture. From the coast, we journey inland to Kisumu, a bustling port city nestled on the shores of Lake Victoria, the largest freshwater lake in Africa. Kisumu is a city on the rise, a place where modernity blends seamlessly with traditional Luo culture. Start your Kisumu adventure with a stroll along the Kisumu Impala Sanctuary, a haven for impalas, zebras, and even a few rare sitatunga antelopes. Then, hop on a boat and explore the lake, where you can try your hand at some fishing or simply soak up the stunning views. For a taste of local life, head to the Kisumu Market, a vibrant hub of activity where you can find everything from fresh produce to handcrafted souvenirs. And if you're looking for a unique cultural experience, be sure to catch a performance by the renowned Kisumu Orchestra. Kisumu is a city that will captivate you with its energy, its beauty, and its warm, welcoming people. It's a city that's on the move, and trust me, you'll want to be along for the ride. Get ready to be amazed because we're heading to Nakuru, a city nestled in the heart of the Great Rift Valley, a place where nature puts on a show like no other. Nakuru is famous for Lake Nakuru National Park, a soda lake that attracts millions of flamingos, creating a spectacle so breathtaking it looks like a scene straight out of a fairy tale. But Nakuru is more than just flamingos. The park is also home to rhinos, lions, leopards and Rothschild's giraffes, making it a wildlife enthusiast's dream come true. For the adventurous hike up to the Menengai Crater, a massive shield volcano that offers panoramic views of the Rift Valley. And if you're interested in history, be sure to visit the Hyrax Hill prehistoric site, where you can see evidence of human settlements dating back thousands of years. Nakuru is a city that will leave you speechless with its natural beauty and its rich history. Next stop, Eldoret, a city known as the City of Champions for its long legacy of producing world-class runners. But don't worry, you don't have to be an Olympic athlete to appreciate all that Eldoret has to offer. Start your Eldoret adventure with a visit to the High Altitude Training Center, where you can witness the dedication and passion of Kenya's elite runners. Then, escape the hustle and bustle of the city with a visit to the breathtaking Kario Valley, a dramatic escarpment that offers stunning views of the Tugan Hills. And no trip to Eldoret would be complete without experiencing the city's rich tea culture. Visit a tea plantation, learn about the tea-making process, and savor a cup of freshly brewed Kenyan tea. 
It's an experience that will invigorate your senses and leave you feeling refreshed. Eldoret is a city that will inspire you with its athletic spirit, its natural beauty, and its warm, welcoming people. Get ready for some serious beach vibes as we head to Malindi, a coastal town that's been a favorite among travelers for centuries. It's said that Vasco da Gama himself stopped here on his way to India. Today, Malindi is a melting pot of cultures, boasting pristine beaches, world-class diving, and a laid-back atmosphere that will make you want to stay forever. Explore the underwater world at the Malindi Marine National Park, a kaleidoscope of coral reefs, colorful fish, and even shipwrecks. For a dose of history, visit the Vasco da Gama Pillar, a monument erected by the Portuguese explorer in the 15th century. Indulge in delicious Swahili cuisine at one of the many beachfront restaurants, where you can dine on fresh seafood while enjoying breathtaking ocean views. Malindi is a place to unwind, soak up the sun, and experience the magic of the Kenyan coast. Nestled in the heart of the Great Rift Valley, Naivasha is a town that seamlessly blends breathtaking scenery with thrilling wildlife encounters. It's home to Lake Naivasha, a freshwater lake teeming with hippos and over 400 species of birds, making it a birdwatcher's paradise. Take a boat safari on the lake, get up close and personal with hippos, from a safe distance of course, and marvel at the colorful bird life. For a truly unique experience, visit Crescent Island, a private game sanctuary where you can walk among giraffes, zebras, and wildebeest without fences or barriers. And if you're looking for a bit of adventure, why not try your hand at some rock climbing at Hell's Gate National Park? Naivasha is a place where you can escape the hustle and bustle of city life and reconnect with nature. Chapter 8, Lamu, A Step Back in Time Prepare to be transported back in time as we journey to Lamu, the oldest Swahili settlement in East Africa. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is a place where time seems to stand still, where donkeys still outnumber cars, and where the rhythm of life is dictated by the tides. Lose yourself in the labyrinthine streets of Lamu Town, a maze of narrow alleys lined with traditional Swahili houses, bustling markets, and ancient mosques. Take a dhow, a traditional sailing vessel, to nearby islands and explore pristine beaches, coral reefs, and mangrove forests. Experience the unique culture of the Lamu people, known for their intricate wood carvings, silver jewelry, and warm hospitality. Lamu is a place to disconnect from the modern world and reconnect with a simpler, more traditional way of life. Chapter 9. Nanyuki at the Foot of Mount Kenya Nestled at the foothills of Mount Kenya, Africa's second highest peak, Nanyuki is a town that offers a perfect blend of adventure and relaxation. It's a popular base for climbers attempting to summit Mount Kenya. But even if you're not a seasoned climber, there's plenty to see and do in Nanyuki. Visit the Mount Kenya Wildlife Conservancy, home to endangered species like the black rhino and the bongo, or take a scenic drive through the Solio Ranch, where you can see a thriving population of black and white rhinos. For the adrenaline junkies, try your hand at whitewater rafting on the Tana River, or go for a horseback riding adventure through the wilderness. And after a day of exploring, relax and unwind at one of Nanyuki's many charming cafes or restaurants. Chapter 10. Diani Beach, where paradise meets luxury. And for our final destination, we're ending our Kenyan adventure on a high note at Diani Beach a stretch of pristine coastline that's consistently ranked among the most beautiful beaches in the world. Diani Beach is the epitome of paradise with its powdery white sand, crystal clear turquoise waters and swaying palm trees. Spend your day swimming, sunbathing, snorkeling or simply relaxing on the beach, cocktail in hand. For the more adventurous, try your hand at kite surfing, windsurfing or deep sea fishing. And when the sun sets, Diani Beach comes alive with a vibrant nightlife scene. Whether you're looking for a romantic dinner for two, a lively beach party, or a cozy bar to sip cocktails under the stars, Diani Beach has something for everyone. And there you have it, folks. The top 10 cities to visit in Kenya in 2024. From the bustling streets of Nairobi to the pristine beaches of Diani, Kenya has something to offer every type of traveler. So what are you waiting for? Start planning your Kenyan adventure today. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and be sure to subscribe to Travel Hub Africa for more travel inspiration and tips.
We've got a whole world of adventures waiting for you. Until next time, keep exploring. Keep exploring.